I dedicate this to what I'm about to say. <laughs> After 10 years, I hope my dad comes back from the store one day. And I know if I say this, it will echo around the globe. Has anyone ever told you that you have sexy earlobes? <laughs> my mother once told me that was her favorite pickup line after she says, Oh, sweetie, I love you. You're not mine. <laughs> Off I go again, another psychotic episode. I must tell you this to make your mind implode. <laughs> Soft and calm is sweet. Poetry on the moon. <laughs> this next thing might make my pants explode. <laughs> attack the status quo. It's gonna be smooth, like diarrhea. Just let it flow, let it flow. Yeah. <laughs> so the next line is simile and metaphor. That's right, this opera ball is a total score. Score, score. Does that mean times 20 in the area of awkward and strange? Perhaps we should dethrone the government. How is that for change? <laughs> Part one. Part two. <laughs>
There are some things that you don't know. One of them is that everywhere I go, I maintain a traveling circus. It's a little difficult to do on the race, so I've had to insert my circus among you, and you didn't even know it. Wow, awesome. So there are racers among you that really didn't come in as racers. They're part of my personal entourage. <laughs> But I want you to know, going forward, they have told me and communicated to me in their own way that they would like to continue on with you. So this will be our final performance. Some of you have seen the posters in Patesh. Some of you saw the tent. There was a circus in town. What you didn't know was there was a circus in the room next door to you. Some of you may have been walking around the streets here and seen some posters for some performers. What you didn't know was there was a performer <coughs> rambling in your ear at that very exact moment. That was me. You didn't know. So now I would like to call out from amongst you my traveling circus and my traveling choir. Would my traveling choir, the beautiful Rosalita, please come forward. <laughs> and the next member of the circus needs a little bit of encouragement to come forward. He enjoys snacks. <laughs> Healthy fruits. <laughs> he is so well trained, you think he's human. <laughs> he is my own personal circus monkey. Hopscotch, would you come forward? Hopscotch, come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Okay. okay. You just have to wait. You know. Okay, may I? May I? Okay. As you will. Get the pot started. <laughs> we haven't practiced in a while, but I would like to now introduce to you the least greatest show on earth. You've heard of Barnum and Bailey. They are the greatest show. Welcome to the least greatest. This is Matt Mitchell, his traveling choir and traveling circus. Round of applause, please.
An apple a day is supposed to keep the doctor away, but years ago, 64 teeth sunk into that sweet, crisp flesh, and people have been losing their minds ever since. Kings tossing baby boys into the crocodile's mouth, daughters getting fathers drunk, sleeping with them in an attempt to save the world, nations dance and sing, kill and screw, all for a block of wood that can give them nothing. Friends betray friends for a little bit of silver. Fingers are pointed, stones are tossed, whips chain swords across. A mother drowns her babies in a mother drowns her babies in a lake across from Walmart. A scared boy blows a pistol in his hellish high school halls. A daughter flees in the night from her daddy's drunken fists. A friend drinks and drinks and drinks to numb. Another snorts and snorts and snorts for fun. Children sleep in cardboard boxes with naked pot bellies. Husbands and wives fight behind million dollar doors. Sickness sweeps over a town infecting and weakening the lives within it. The boogeyman says knock knock and before we can respond with who's there, it breaks down the door without permission, rushing in to steal, to destroy, to kill. This is no joke, there is no punchline, just the punch, just the blow. As I lay there, sleep came slow, but come it did. I woke up and I hoped that the morning had brought sun and shine and butterflies or something like that. Instead it rained, and, rain, and it rained hard. I watched the drops trickle down my window and I wondered if heaven was crying. I remembered the pointing fingers, the tossed stones, the cross, and I know that this is not what you intended. That when you said, don't pick the apple, don't pick the apple, you knew that when it came to knowing evil, you just couldn't handle the truth. The cursed bite broke us all, ringing in our ears like blunt chalk on a cord. Humanity fell to its knees, weeping ever so violently, rocking back and forth, back and forth. We became lost. Pity, shame, oh tragedy of all time. You saw us there, said don't despair, I will not leave you lying there. The prophets rang out and a story was told, one day a manger would behold. A prince, a king, our coming lord, not by army, soldiers, and sword. But love shall cast out all evil and fear, whispered heaven's darling dear. And then you came. As we scratched and screamed and chewed our nails, you came to free us from ourselves. And because of you, because of you, I am found. Pity, shame, O oh, tragedy of all time, need not be my fate. This man of darkness will not own my flesh. I am no longer a puppet on strings, not a cage bird who sings, but free. Though sorrow and suffering come my way, there also come a day when it all <coughs> shall end.